action. All right, today's cooking video is what to do with crock pots because they kind of suck. Like I've talked about it before, maybe whining in a previous video. Like when you make a crock pot, it feels like you throw your different vegetables in there, maybe some you know rice or something, whatever it is, and then you put a certain amount of spice. You think you're dumping a whole bunch in there. And then it gets finished, and it tastes like there's nothing. Like, the spice is like, vanished in the atomics. Then, as it sits there and marinates for a number of days, it slowly, the spices return you to add more and balance it until it's, like, five days later, it's the tastiest as you finish it off. And so, I noticed, along with that, I just put chunks of onion now, so it kind of marinates in and dissolves over the days. But see, this time I made the stew without even any, like, rice or barley or anything. Because I'm going to turn this into gravy. See, I already used a couple of these chicken broths to make the, you know, wet aspect of that soup there. So I'll, uh, just be popping it in the, uh, grinder here and turn it into gravy for these potatoes. I cooked them for like an hour and 20 minutes so until they were all soft and perfect. I'm just going to slice these up and throw them in here with some butter. But I'm going to be putting a little hemp roux. This one's called Magic Crasher. When it comes to hemp, it's about the flavor. I don't really care about the effects too much. Like, you want to get something that has a nice spicy aroma that matches your meal. So, this one does. So, I'll be using it. I'll take a little bit off of there. Put it in with the butter. I guess when you're experimenting for the first time with a new variety of hemp, you probably don't want to use a massive amount. You don't want it to stand out too much, so I'll just let it sit in there. Dissolve and I turn it up a little. I don't think we want to fill it up too much or it won't chop it up too good. Um, at this point, I think I'll use, along with the butter, this is all good, yeah, alright, pour that on there, put that in there, there we go. to put the lid on. See, that's really all there is to it. And then we add the rest of the potatoes. We got it all slime. Mmm, smells so good. Who cares about forever, you know, removing all the skins and whipping it for 25 and a half years and 9 months and 3 days and 17 seconds when you can just do this? Add a little bit more of this, maybe. There we go.
pulse it and really get the skins, you know, working and grooving and gliding. And then once they all start spinning the tornado of souls, then you get it all going. All right. Maybe I just like heavy metal music too much in that description. Pretty good. You don't want to whip it any longer than that because that'll get too gluey. All right. I'll pour that into my bowl and then we'll do the next part. Okay. okay. I got it pretty much cleared out now. What I'm going to do next is take my gravy here. Ladle it right in there. Hell yeah. Get so it's the chicken, carrots. Like, I could have added more stuff to this. You know, you can do cauli cauliflower, broccoli, uh, kale if you're into that, whatever weird stuff you're into. So we'll just, uh, Chicken. That's about enough with the carrots and chicken, potatoes, and then we'll just use the rest of my extra chicken broth here. So it's not too thick of gravy. Oh, like, there we go. Okay, and we'll add some more salt. I had the salt of that and mixed it to see your wear. You know, some good squeezes, like four and a half squeezes. So it's, you know, it comes out like that. And then, uh, of course, pepper, which I really like. But most people, they want to put their pepper on their own stuff afterwards. So I'll just do that. Um, let's just grind this up, and then we can heat it on the stove, and then we'll have our mashed potatoes and gravy. Gotta find my little tooth. Hmm, let's check the consistency. I mean, we can always add more thickness if we need, if it's too thin. I mean, I don't like gravy to be too thick. That seems about right to me. That's about right. All right, then we'll just uh, present the two together and show us eating it, and then you'll be jealous. All right. Fun. All right. Yep. There it is finished. I poured it uh, hot gravy on there from the stove, and uh, I think it has a pretty good color comparison between the potato and the brown gravy. Is it hot? That's no, fine. All right. Yeah, it's probably just uh, ordinary potatoes and gravy. I don't know if it's delicious or regular. It's delicious. It tastes right. great. It's amazing. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. I'll try some now, too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I was recording this on my little Run Cam 5 Orange we just got. I'll be doing some uh, running videos on the Run Cam. Everybody else keeps using, like keeps using the device like it's only for drones or something like hectic drone racing and uh i'll have to show off that it's actually a run cam what that means <laughs>